Hello, this is Palico Badge, and welcome back to another episode of Curious Expedition 2, all the DLCs. And in the last episode, well, we started looking for this raised, raised? This buried pyramid, which needs to be raised. I mean, you can't, you can't bury a raised, I suppose you can bury a raised pyramid, and you should raise a buried pyramid. Anyway, we're looking for one of those pointy yellow gold things in the ground. But in order to do that, we need to find the shiny lighty uppy things to make it rise up and well we only found one however i did notice by jove look at this there is the second golden seal uh, we have just been to this village we've been quite fortuitous with what we found so far uh we are slightly injured but we won't sort of dwell upon that our food bellies is there another type of belly possibly our food bellies are full. We are ready to rock. We're probably going to have to take down a Dang Kang in the process. Uh, but, well, let's crack on, shall we? I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I'm guessing we're going to find out. I mean, do we take it on first? We haven't angered it. That means we could possibly, possibly get away with not attacking it. We are being followed, though. Hmm... Screw it. Attack the Dang Kang! Oh, there's only two of them. We'll be all right. Look at that one was jiving. That's the Elvis Dang Kang. You can tell by the hair. Right, so, uh, what we got? Uh, hmm. Not a fan of that one. Uh, let's do a re-roll straight away. We'll get rid of you. I prefer fame if I can help it. I'm doing pretty well with all that. Vulnerability and poisoning. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll re roll that. I mean, we'll try our luck. I know there's different uh, drips here. Uh, in regards to these, again, that's not too bad as far as the blues are concerned. And we've got the uh, electrocution there. That'll be fine. Cool, daddy -o. Right, so, uh, still got that. Right, so let's do the fame. Cheese. Let's do the electrocution. Let's do another Lexicusian. Is that right? Hmm. Maybe I should just aim at the one. Oh, we get a shield off that, though. And a stun. What are these going to do? Right, so we're going to get you stunned. And we're going to hit you really, really electrocution-y hard. Uh, 58, 58. So the one's down. Oh, maybe not. Cheeky. Let's re-roll for fame again. We might get away with that. Nice. Let's bring our ornamental die out. So, roll for fame. Shooty for me. Shooty for me. Shooty for me. And then super shooty, just to make sure. Nice. What we got? Meat and a dang kang tusk. And uh, no one is... Well, I'm not going to say unhappy, but at least we're not being chased down for being followed. So that works for me. Oh, I forgot about you. I keep forgetting about you. What's going on with this map? Can we actually cover this yet? We've, in all fairness, we've probably gone past it. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we're okay. Maybe it's just here. And we need to come back to it. Well, I'm sure we can do that. That's fine. We'll just try not to forget about it in the meantime. So, meat. Cook it up. That'll do. That will do. 
I approached the strange ancient mechanism that rose out of the ground like a great clawed hand. The control panel on the side seemed designed to set the thing in motion. Let's get groovy. After only a few minutes, we were able to unlock the ancient mechanism. As the last button was pressed, a great column of light shot up from the seal. Oh, I'm not looking very well. Awesome. Where is that third seal? Down there. All right. I'm sure there is a way to it. Uh, let's have an explore. I mean, we've got a definitive way of where we need to go. So we don't have to worry too much about that. Sanity is okay at the moment. Oh, let's go say hello. Hello. We met some wandering islanders who seemed unsurprised by our presence. They asked whether we were here for the strange device that had fallen from the sky. When we asked what they meant, they showed us a metal cylinder with a sigil of Eddie Bot's workshop. Having little use for it, they were more than willing to let us have it. Inside the cylinder, I found a map signed by Eddie Bot's workshop. I said my thanks, thanks, and made my way. Awesome! Yet another map to drive me crazy on where the hell I should be going. So. Well, of course it's going to be by the crocodile. Where else would it be? I mean, we're heading back in that direction anyway, so that's not so bad. We'll check out this, uh, I believe it's a, oh, it's a hunt master. Can we trade? Can we steal? Let's find out. We can do both. <laughs> I encountered a hunter's cabin out in that trackless wilderness. It seemed that its owner preferred a solitary existence out among the wildlife. I'm not much of a people person either. Well. Nothing too exciting. I'm quite happy with what we've got. I mean, we could take the meat. Uh, what's that? 18. Hmm. We've got a lot of gold. Laura, Laura gold. I think I'm better just carrying on with killing stuff and eating it, to be honest with you. Bit of a bear grills. I mean, we'll, we'll see what we get from stealing. Always something. Always something. That's my Alfie. Goldsmithing kit. Okay. Uh, what can I do with a goldsmithing kit? Tools from a tribe that with advanced jewelry and precious metal walking skills. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, but what does that mean? What does that mean we can do? Hey, hmm, hey, hmm. Where is it? Where are you then? There you are. So if I use it, that evening I prepared my metalworking tools. Improve treasure. Oh. Oh, hang on. Hang on, if I'm going to improve treasure, I want to see what this treasure is worth. So, uh, 112, 112, 112, 160. It's got to be the dagger, hasn't it? It's got to be, oh, it's got to be the dagger. You. Oh, I can look through it down here. Never mind. To an exquisite Palakal dagger, fame 200. Oh, that makes me feel so good. The work was delicate, but I managed to improve the already fine piece of treasure using the exceptional tools of the locals. Awesome. Let's crack on. Oh, we got crocodiles. Can I avoid the crocodiles? We can avoid the crocodiles. I think we better avoid the crocodiles. I don't want to play it too cray-cray. I do want to see what's down in this, in this corner, because we're definitely not coming back here. Oh, GB. Star fruit. Uh, we'll have a little look. See, I don't suppose there's going to be too much out here. Nope. All right, so we need to get to here. If I was to come to here. And 
then to there. Of course. Of course you're going to sit right on top of the treasure. I, I am just going to double check this. Oh, sometimes I hate being right. Okay, so we're going to have to attack the crocodile. Or two. Or two. Right. So, we roll. We roll. Uh, we're going to get rid of you and you and you and hmm and you and you we'll keep you keep you we'll keep you go yeah okay so do I dare do fame? Or do I just go... Oh, I can't even do the big zappy zap. We're going to do the fame by itself. Fame by itself. Take the hit. We'll do the strengthening of the allies. We are going to do... Uh, 18... And 9 is 27... 14, 20. So this is the better one and we get the random hit as well. And then... All the greens. I'll do. I'll do. That's it. Don't you be silly. Don't you be silly. We'll take it all. We'll figure it out in a second. Um, oh, we'll have to figure it out now, actually. Uh, let's... um. Let's use the lemonade up. No, oh, hang on. One, four, six. Ooh. I might have to use a battery on someone. Maybe I'm going to use a battery on. So. It's only a sanity hit of 10 and a minus capacity of 1. I suppose that could suck a little bit more. I don't suppose it matters really then. Um, we'll do Billy. We'll do Billy. So 146 to 160. How are we for capacity now then? Bang on. Let's see. Let's see how we fare with whatever's in here before we make another decision. Workshop treasure. There were traces of impact all around the spot marked on the map. It didn't take long before we found what we were looking for, which is. Oh, I got one of them. Plasma spider. Hooray! Something else to trade. Right, so now we are scuppered. Oh, I hate. I hate backfire chances. I am not the luckiest when it comes to that. So, six of those. Six sixes are 36. Just for the sake of getting rid of that and still being able to move, that'll do. All right, teleport us. Ooh. I might be able to trade something with him. Or you, unsavory type. Right, so 
Let's trade first. The recruit had some goods available for barter. I inspected his items, although it didn't feel particularly right to trade with him. Oh, but look. Look at the gold stuffs. I mean, we could get rid of. What's he going to charge? 70? 45? 45. What are you worth? 112? 175? So let's get rid of the plasma spider. And the jewels, just for the sake of creating some more space. 16? Yeah, and the jewels. And we could have... you and then we'll just stock up on the stuff we already have so you you how far off are we a little bit uh Wow, this is annoying. Um, so that's 32. That is 32. That's worth 60. That's worth 20. Don't know why I did that math. Doesn't really help me out, to be completely honest with you. I mean, I could take... That. For that. I think that would balance out pretty well. Maybe. Gives me one space. Let's approach the islanders. I wonder if I should warn the islanders of the grim fate that would await them if they went with the recruiter. Four? I'm good to go. No. Yeah. We're good. Thankfully, I managed to convince the islanders to leave. They would warn others of the recruiter. The atrocious recruiter was furious. He hurled insults my way as I left him alone and desperate. Just doing my thing. Keeps everyone happy. That's going to be something. But I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Right. So. Oh, look. Um, let's have a quick look. It'd be rude not to. Oh. I came across an astounding discovery. The wreck of what looked like an old French naval ship. I couldn't help but wonder if it had come to rest here. Or how it had come to rest here. Or who it had come to rest here. Or where it had come to rest here. Any more W's? The ship looked like it might still contain valuable supplies, but the rotten planks of the vessel would make the search quite dangerous. Too dangerous for me to do it. <laughs> um, if I was to search thoroughly... What roles do I need? Hmm. Five green. One, two, three, four... I'll throw in that as well. Better safe than sorry. Huzzah! No, oh, that deserves a squat, Alfred. I made a decision to risk a thorough search of the ruined ship. It turned out to be the right decision. There were no major accidents and I found useful goods inside. Oh, yes. Two torches for one torch. Good. Good. Right. On to the next. Shazam. Thank the Lord. We found a mission. Uh, we're going to have to attack the undead pirates first, though. Oh. That's a lot. All right. That is atrocious. That is atrocious. Okay, so we've got to re-roll, definitely. Um, I'm going to re-roll you. We'll re-roll you for the multiples. We'll re-roll you for the multiples. We'll re-roll you for the multiples. You can stay. 
Oh, look at that. Cool. So. Not the best, if I was going to be completely honest with you. Um... I really need to be taking them all down together. I can't afford to be taking them down individually. 60 or 80 is the highest here. I'm not going to get anywhere close, am I? Let's put up our shield as much as we can and hope for a better roll next time. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I think that's the right idea. So... Not all enemies, though, is it? It's just the one. Mm. All right. So we'll take down the biggest one. Uh, and then, again, does it really matter at this point? And then just throw it all on. Hope they all kind of equal out. Right. So you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're nearly dead. You're not touched. So we've got to kill him on the next go. I mean... It's not make any difference whatsoever. No. Please! <laughs> Actually, that worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, don't give me mad at this point, does it? Let's shoot you in. Oh, let's get some fame. Click. And then we will shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the face. Several times over. And your friend's on the floor. Cool. Oh. Enough of the gold. I never thought I'd say that. Enough of the gold already. Huh. I'm going to take it all. Well, let's let's just wiggle ourselves over here, and we'll we'll get it all sorted. Ah, oh, first world problems. So here we are. I was greeted by the local missionary, who was clearly delighted to see new faces. And you know what? I'm going to leave the episode here. We have problems I never thought I'd ever have in this game. <laughs> so we've got too much gold. Um, so I'm going to pause it. We'll pick it up here in the next episode and hopefully prevail with the rest of the expedition. But by, by now, right now, this exact moment, thank you for watching. As always, like is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Take it easy.